Greetings. Hello, Godfrey. It is I, Godfrey, First Elden Lord. Yes, I know you well, very well. First Elden Lord. What were you again? Godfrey, I really don't- Oh, that's right. Second, Elden Lord. First is mightier than second. Did you know that, Radagon? I did, Godfrey. I was the first chosen consort of Queen Merica the Eternal. Oh, I know. I led the war against the giants. Have you ever seen a giant, Radagon? I have seen quite a- They are fucking massive! And I killed them. I killed them all. <laughs> Well, I think you may have missed- Because I am a warrior, not some skinny red-haired twig. I took the beast regent Sarosh upon my back to suppress my lust for battle. And sex. Godfrey, this is getting extremely awkward. I face the Stormlord alone. There are paintings of me, Radagon. Paintings! People name their babes after me. I'm a fucking legend, mate. Then why did she exile you, Godfrey? What? Then why did Queen Merica, the Eternal, exile you from the lands between? You call yourself the first Elden Lord. What you are is the first tarnished. You and your shriveled cock were of no further use to her. What the fuck? You have an old man smell, Godfrey. It smells like spoiled demi-human milk. You little shit. One of your sons is a mermaid, the other is a pedophile. And the third is a depressed hobo with a boiled crab addiction. You're lucky the Elden Beast hasn't crucified the whole damn lot of you. Elden what? I've said too much. Farewell, first Elden Lord. Good day, Rani. Father, what are you doing here? I have come to visit Wolfie. Oh, and you too, of course. Right. And Radan and Rikard, where are they? Radan is off hiking with Godfrey. That child stealing back. And Rikard, well, it is perhaps best you don't see him. <laughs> anyway, if you follow the trail of Wolf urine, you'll find it leads to the library. That's where your wretched mutt resides. Rani, why can't you and Wolfie just get along? I could say the same for you and Mother. <laughs> Wolfie, who's a good boy? You're a good boy. This is insufferable. Wolfie is the best boy with the best tricks. Blythe, come here. You summoned me, Mistress Ronnie? Do a trick, Blythe. I beg your pardon? Ronnie, why did you summon the furry? Furry? Shut up, father. He is a better wolf than your mongrel pet. Cover your ears, Wolfie. Well, what are you waiting for? Okay, well, I haven't done my morning stretches yet, but here it goes. Excellent work. I think I sprained my ankle. See, father? This is what a real wolf looks like. That's not a wolf, Ranny. That's a depressed alcoholic in a dog suit. Only some of that is true. Wolfie, show them the majesty of a real wolf. That is nothing. Blythe, do another trick. Mistress Ranny, I don't think I know any other tricks. Also, my ankle is in excruciating pain. Your mistress commands you. Okay, well, how about this? Blythe. I'm too drunk for all of this. Well, it would appear that Wolfie is indeed the best. Shut up! Why did you leave Mother? Rani, it is too complicated to explain. Let's just say I had some personal reasons. It is time for me to leave now. Farewell. Get back here! What does that even mean? So, uh, can you show me how to jump that high? It was sick. I can't hold on much longer. Time to stretch the legs and wrists. I wonder what street music the oracles are playing today. Help. Oh, hello, Morgot. Still here, as always. The sewers probably need defending as well, you know. Maybe you should revisit them? I can't. You can't what, Morgot? Go back to the sewers? I am sure the rats will welcome you. I need. You need what? A wash? A hobby? A pretty female omen to have pretty omen babies with? Crab! Morgat, I think even you can do better than mating with a crab. I need crab boiled crab. Who is your dealer, Morgat? Who is he? Who is he? Blackguard, Big Boggart. Boggart? What a ridiculous name. But fine, I was going to go for a walk anyway. You just stay here and wait. Uh, uh, uh. Are you Boggart? America's tits. You must be hungry. Stop staring at my chest. Oh, and give me some boiled crab. Ah, you got fine taste there, mate. Don't you be worrying about paying. The first one's on the house. If I see you dealing here tomorrow, I'm going to give you a hammering that would shatter even the Elden Ring. You fucking what, mate? Alas, I am returned. Uh, uh, uh. Isn't that what Godfrey says? It sounds even stupider saying it out loud. What did you think? Feed me, crab. The oracles would have laughed, but whatever. Take this, you cursed addict. <laughs>
I am feeling much better. Thank you, Radagon. I will be sure to purchase more so that this doesn't happen again. I'd prefer it if you found something else to become addicted to, like soap. Have you tried eating soap? I don't have any soap. Of course not. Anyway, I must return to my tree. Farewell. Alas, I am returned. You ate how many? Probably like 20 of them. And did they work? Yeah, the gravel stones made my voice sound really deep. My niece was very impressed. I like to impress people by coughing really loudly. Hey, son. Hey. hey. Uh, I think he was talking to you. Greetings, Radan. Where is your deadbeat father? He is probably in his tree. What's wrong? Your mother cheated on me with that skinny red-haired twig. That sounds like something he would do. Radagon, open this door, you coward of a man! This should be good. Pass the crab! No, I don't want to adopt one of Kaled's dragons. Oh, it's Godfrey. What do you want? Radagon, you philandering scoundrel. Those are some big words, Godfrey. Be careful your brain doesn't explode. Is it true? Is what true? That you are an old, graceless fool? That you actually aren't the first Elden Lord? Or are you asking if it's true that your children are a disgrace to the Golden Order? The answer to all is yes. Wow, Morgoth, I'm sorry you had to hear that. I've heard worse. I have pretty thick skin. Did you get that by eating gravel stone? I am not here to discuss my title or my children. I am here to discuss you, Radagon. You aren't going to talk about yourself? You mustn't be feeling well. Maybe that lion roaring in your ear has given you brain damage. You were cheating with my wife. Uh, Do you deny it? Um, the shame on your wicked face speaks volumes. Listen, Godfrey, this is a bit of a complicated situation. I bet you had your eyes on my wife for a while, didn't you? Well, not really. I mean, if there was a mirror or a pool of water, then I may have looked at her. You little rascal. I've never heard Godfrey use such strong language. He is usually so calm. How long were you and Merica fondling behind my back? Oh, she and I have been close for quite a while. What she ever saw in you baffled. Me. You two are nothing alike. Do you really think so? If your son wasn't standing there, I would bash your skull in. Which one? What? I mean, yeah, we wouldn't want Rat on seeing that. I shuffled around eating corpses for a good number of years, so I am used to violence. Maybe they could give you a deeper voice. Radagon. Yes? We are going to family therapy. Sure, anything to avoid this conversation with Godfrey. Oh, hello, Godfrey. You are looking very handsome today. Greetings. You are as beautiful as the moon. This is awkward. And Sarosh is looking very strong. Stop flirting with my ex-wife. Make me! Let's go. You too, Radon. But I don't want to. Now, Radon! Fine! That went pretty well. Indeed, son. I need to chew on some gravel stones to calm down a bit. Would you like some? I absolutely would. Is he always this loud? It's your fault he's like this. It's my fault Rikard is a brain-dead snake. You're not allowed to say that about him. Radagon, stop insulting our children. Everyone, please take a deep breath. I don't trust you. What are you hiding in that shell? Is a rune of the Elden Ring in there? Do I need to crack you open to find out? Try it and I will gravity magic you through a wall. <sighs> Radagon, as you can see, your family is a little damaged. Thank you for stating the obvious. Rikard became a blasphemous serpent that can barely string a sentence together. Very good, Rikard. You're my big smart snakey. Rani destroyed her Empyrean flesh and became a blue doll. Does the Golden Order have a problem with blue people? You look like a smurf, Rani. What's a smurf? <sighs> and Radon is parading around trying his best to be the next Godfrey. Godfrey is more of a man than you will ever be. He is an awesome father, a great warrior and an expert at fishing. He's also really hot. Mother, please. Oh. Radon, do you hate your father? I hate weakness, and my father is a weak man. Well, actually, I've killed a lot more Tarnish than you have. That is not what I mean. You abandoned us to go and start a family with that foolish Merica, but you got what you deserved with those cursed twins. Which cursed twins are you referring to? Melania and Makilla. Don't you know your own children? Of course he doesn't. Radon, you are a fine warrior, but let's be honest. Melania is better than you'll ever be. Excuse me? He pressed the Melania button. He shouldn't have done that. Family. Melania is an Empyrean, and you tried to kill her? She is very important for the future of the Golden Order, Radon. You should know this. She is a frail, blind, compulsive liar who claims to have never lost a fight. She should be happy that she was cursed. If not for her Scarlet Rod, I would have gladly ended her. There's no shame in losing to her, Radon. You are a skinny, red-haired twig. Isn't that what Godfrey says? That that man has poisoned my children, Renala. How could you let this happen? Godfrey is a good man, Radagon. He has went fishing and hiking with Radon, and he feeds Rikard gravel stones. 
I'm still waiting to have an adventure with Godfrey. Me too, Rani. Me too. Okay, let's try to keep things on track. Radigan, as you can see, your family is hurt. Do you want to repair things? That is all anyone asks of me. Radagon, please repair the Elden Ring. Radagon, please repair your family. Radagon, please repair the Amber Egg. I am sick of it. What happened to the egg? Blythe and Wolfie were playing fetch with it a few weeks ago. They would take turns throwing it and chasing it. Being crucified for every little mistake can take its toll. You think of us as a little mistake? If you like, I can turn into a meteor and show you how little of a mistake I am. No one cares, Radon. Gravity magic isn't cool. Incantations are cool. What did you say? Can you accept that your father is an imperfect man who has made mistakes? No! Maybe. <sighs> Very well. You are a very kind young man, Rikard. Let's get some pickled turtleneck meat on the way home. Please stop eating turtles. That is all we have time for today, I'm afraid. I think we have made some progress. We have made no progress. He admitted himself that he cares more for Melania than us. Well, she is undefeated. All you are good for is hiding behind your snide remarks and your stupid tree. Radon, it sounds like you have a lot of frustration towards Melania. I think he loves her. Oh, Radon, I am so happy that my strapping strong man has finally found someone. I disapprove. I can't stand her. She is literally a demon. Does she get that from her father or her mother? Probably a bit of both. I will need to see you and her sometime. No, you won't. I must leave now. Melania and I are to search for Makilla. Farewell. Good riddance. Let's go back to the academy. Actually, I hear Patches is hosting some sort of tournament at my castle. Are you coming, Rani? Sure. I like watching things die. I'm not sure it's that sort of tournament. I guess it's just you and me then, Rikard. Let's get some pickled turtleneck meat. Stop feeding my children to your children. How angry do you think he'll be? I'm sure he won't mind. We haven't been gone for that long. You have nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about? I am being eternally crucified by him. Exactly. So how much worse can it get? He is a monster. I am sure he will think of some other horrific way to punish me. He's not such a bad guy when you get to know him. Besides, you did shatter the Elden Ring. Are you saying I deserve this? What I am saying is that you should just let me do the talking. At least he lets you leave the tree and go for walks. I haven't been outside for so long. How are our children? doing? Well, Makilla is lost, and Melania is searching for him. Melania? She's blind. Someone else should be searching. Ronnie is a blue doll. What are you talking about? Rikard is a blasphemous serpent. A blasphemous serpent? And Radon is a Godfrey fanboy. It sounds like you're the one who should be crucified. Well, I sort of am being crucified thanks to you. Also, Morgod is loitering outside of the tree, begging to be let in. I haven't been outside for so long. I even miss my omen twins. Merica, this is why you're being crucified. Let me speak with him. I will try to make sure that you aren't crucified even harder. Okay, I'll just wait here. Apologies for being gone so long. You better have a good reason for leaving the tree, Radagon. Even though you're my favorite little sword, I am still very cross with you. Thank you, but please don't turn me into a sword again. But you're such a good sword. Who's a good sword? Please don't make me say- th Who's a good sword, Radagon? I'm a good sword. You're goddamn right. And don't you ever forget it. Anyway, I wanted to discuss Merica. Oh, that treacherous slag. Uh, yes. Thanks to her, I'm missing lots of my great runes. The other outer gods won't stop making fun of me. Do you know what the formless mother calls me? I do not. She calls me a big, goofy, broken, fish-faced slug. That hurts my feelings, Radagon. I am sure it does. And do you know what happens when my feelings are hurt? You rise above it and move on? I start crucifying people, that's what happens. So I'm not letting Merica down if that's what you're asking. Well, could you maybe let us take it in turns? I don't like her being the one who is always crucified. I'm not going to crucify my favorite little sword, you silly little Newman. But I'd really prefer it if you- I do not want to crucify you. Aw, oh, come on, not even a little bit? I'm not crucifying you. All right, well, can you please spare Merica from any further punishment? Well, you did leave the Erd Tree for a long time, but fine. Thank you. As long as you do one thing for me. Please don't turn me into a sword. Promise to stop your wretched family from any further fighting. I don't want my precious great runes getting damaged. I have a large family that I can barely keep track of, but sure. Good news, Merica. I'm not going to be crucified anymore? I can leave the Erd Tree? Well, no. Damn you, Radagon. You won't be crucified any harder, if that helps. Not really, but thanks. I asked if we could take turns, but he kept wanting to turn me into a sword. Aren't we already taking turns? Aren't we the same person? Isn't the Elden Beast contained within you? I don't know, Merica. None of this really makes sense. The Erd Tree is a wacky place. You can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> 
My wrists hurt. Mine too! The one in charge now is me. You will do as I command. To disobey is to defy the Golden Order. As an Elden Lord, I require your loyalty. Anything less, and you will be exiled from the lands between forever. Do I make myself clear? Shut up, Father. Is this what all of the Demigod Council meetings are like? They're usually just Morgoth telling us to piss off. How crude. I was wondering why the place doesn't reek of crab. Where is that silly omen addict? I think he went to search for Makilla. Makilla would probably prefer to stay hidden than to be found by him. At least Morgoth is defending the Erd Tree. What is it that you do? Well, I spend most of my time just hanging about. It shows. I can tell that you didn't prepare for this meeting. Are you going to take that from her? Melina, if you keep talking back to me, I'm taking Torrent away from you. <laughs> How else am I meant to get about? You mean you don't have a wolfman, giant, or dragon to carry you around? How pathetic. None of them like you. That wolfman will probably try to kill you someday. Oh, wait, you already beat him to it. Melina, be nice to Rani. Thanks, father. Anyway, the real tragedy was that you cast aside your great rune. I retract my thanks. Did you know that the oracles are preparing to go to war? I assume you are both on the side of the Erd Tree. Of course not. I don't care about your silly oracle war. You are no children of mine. That's fine by me. Godfrey will be my new dad soon anyway. He and Mother are getting rather close. You must be joking. Sounds like you're a bit of a cuck. A bit of a what? Can I go now? I want to take a nap in my tower. No, you can't go. I'm not going to let Morgoth do a better job of hosting these meetings than me. Oh, look at me. I hate omens. That's what you sound like. An excellent impersonation. I've never said, oh, look at me. Who else can you impersonate? Greetings. Would you like a bath? Where are my members? Gostok. Gostok. What's a Gostok? I need to get back to my egg. Brother, give me my egg. My mommy's invisible. Gravity magic is the best. I will gravity magic you through a wall. Oh, Godfrey, give me a hug. Don't make fun of Radon. Together! 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 I have never known defeat. I nap on a silly chair all day. Oh, the scarlet rot blooms. Don't make fun of my daughter! Alas, I am returned. Is that a beast, man? Let me eat you. Please stop crucifying me! Can I go for a walk? Who's that meant to be? Uh... Please give me a biscuit, Mistress Rani. Please take me for a walk, Mistress Rani. Feed me, Roa Raisins. Feed me. Feed me. <laughs> okay, this is getting stupid now. Agreed. Let's never speak of this again. This was fun. Maybe I'll start coming to these more often. I still don't like you. Very well, Melina. But if you impersonate me again, I'm feeding you to the avatars. Feed me, maidens! Radagon. Godfrey. I didn't think a skinny, red-haired twig like you would show up. You're too stupid to think. Let's see how smart you are with my axe in your head. Fellas, this is just a roast tournament. No violence, please. It's bad for business. We're meant to fight with words. Words confuse Godfrey. Do you have any paint? I'll paint with your blood. Maybe setting this up was a mistake. Who are you cheering for, Renala? Godfrey, of course. Radagon is a bastard. And you? Radagon. He He's like a brother to me. I don't care who wins, as long as I make some runes. You stole my ex-wife. Uh... What kind of man are you? Um... Uh, um... I thought the second Elden Lord was meant to be good with words. Your tiny, shriveled nut of a brain wouldn't be able to comprehend what's going through my head. Not much from the looks of it. You're missing half of it. Stop body shaming him! You're a senile old fool. Did you forget that she exiled you? Has all that roaring in your ears? Ears giving you brain damage? <laughs> Leave Sir Osh out of this. Cats are stupid! Why don't you take your mutt cat along with your wicked omens and jump from the top of the Erd Tree? Just try not to get any of your tarnished blood on it. This guy is mean! You should try living with him. He's filthy rich though, right? Think of all the runes! The only rune that matters is the rune of death. Tell that to the merchants. Attacking my children? What about your children, Radagon? Weren't we already discussing them? Look at the damage you've done to poor little Radagon. I'm sure one of her millions of husbands can comfort her. Look at how Rikard has rebelled against you. Now he's almost as stupid as you. And Radon's blood boils at the mere mention of you. Maybe a cat meowing into his ear would fix that? <laughs> 
You are a failure of a father. You tell him, Godfrey. I'm glad I don't have kids. But they're so tasty. You lot need help. You're the one who throws their children into the sewers. That was Merica's doing. So now that's my fault too? What? Godfrey, let me make this simple. You big stupid dumb dumb who swing stick and make things go boom boom. How dare you? You don't belong in the lands between. You belong in a cave with animals. Just try not to get cucked by them too. First, Elden, cuck. You're getting suplexed. Just ignore him, Godfrey. Would you like to go on another date? Well, it looks like Godfrey was the real winner here. He clearly lost! You can have my sloppy seconds. <laughs> say it! You want me to say it? Say it! Please stop them, Muriel. I like my shell. You're not ready for it! The second Elden Lord is all talk. Muriel! Oh yeah, the therapy thing. Radagon, thank you for coming to this session. What's on your mind? I'm wondering if Renala is insane. It's going to be one of these sessions, then. You need help, Radagon. You are always insulting Godfrey. His brain is made from gravel. What am I meant to do? At least I'm not missing half of it. Don't make me say it. Say it, you coward of a man. Is this how Elden Lords get on these days? I miss the dragons. You blasphemous little turtle. Radagon, wouldn't you rather get along with Godfrey? I'd rather get crucified by a slug. He'd be someone you could ask Elden Lord questions to, like, what do you think of the chair? And who are we genociding today? Is that what you think interests me? I can't stand chairs. I prefer to talk to myself. Radagon, you can't just talk to yourself all day. You'd be surprised. Radagon, you wee misfit. Don't make me say it, Godfrey. Say it! You need to learn to communicate. You can't keep calling Rani a slutty smurf. But that's what she is. And you can't keep insulting the way Rikard talks. It's really more like grotesque purring than talking. And you certainly can't be questioning Radon's strength. Melania is stronger. She's also far richer. Radigan, you are a bastard. He's also a deadbeat father. Be silent or I'll- The rune bears are better fathers, and they eat their own young. The lobsters are better, and they trade their young in for fee paintings. I swear to the greater will, I'm going to- The wandering nobles are better, and they're maidenless. Godric is better, and he grafts his children's limbs. Can I get my runes now? That is enough. Enough. Godfrey, you are an old, graceless fool. You smell like spoiled troll milk that has been defecated in. What the fuck? One of your sons is a sexual predator who shoves children into eggs, then fondles their hands. Your other son is a boiled crab addict who loiters outside my damn tree all day, reeking of piss. And your dead son was a dragon-loving loser who got killed by ballerinas. They were assassins! You should do everyone a favor and join him. Radagon, that is quite enough. Don't get me started on you, you mentally unstable witch. So, uh, about those runes... You slam your little sweetlings at Tarnished until their heads explode, and then you rebirth them and do it all over again. I can see where Rikard gets his pension for torture. How dare you! You turned Rani into a spoiled little brat who gives out to the first Tarnish that looks her way. You have an unhealthy obsession with my amber egg, and your hat is fucking ridiculous. You should both be thrown from the top of the earth tree for the damage you've caused to the lands between. I've heard enough. Let's go, Godfrey. You're a cruel man, Radagon. A cruel man. I think that went very well. Really? Letting a little venom out will allow us to heal. I suppose that makes sense. I'm just glad you didn't roast me. You are a fat, greedy, slow, lazy turtle who should be turned into soup.